And welcome back. You're listening to Hysteria, a podcast for fans of Earring Magic Ken. Before we get to, <laughs> I mean, okay, I wish I wish that our listeners could have heard the little break and the way that we were talking about Earring Magic Ken, available on eBay, available on Etsy, yes. available to be subject of your 2023 Halloween costume, and Prime. perhaps Prime. fully wearable outfit, get the fishnet, get the vest, get it going. You, I, I feel <laughs> as though you've got enough lead time. And it it would be phenomenal. It would be phenomenal. Okay, so uh, here we go. Alyssa, Sanity Corner, or I Feel Petty? Erin, I'm going with Petty. And it is another one of my uh, call, my pleas for help from our listeners who always have great ideas. Guys, we have a spongy moth, formerly known as gypsy moths, a spongy moth caterpillar uh, infestation here Yikes. in many parts of the Northeast. Oof. It is disgusting and Aaron you and I talk on the show in our ads about our love of gardening the things that we are trying to cultivate these are an enemy of that state okay they eat everything there are parts of the Taconic State Parkway over here that look like nuclear winter because these caterpillars have eaten everything off of the trees and if your tree is like, I don't know, a little tentative after three summers of drought and maybe not in the best health, these can kill it. And so anyway, I asked my dad, I was like, Pop, how do I deal with these? He's like, well, you know what your grandpa used to do? Blowtorch. I was like, mm, that's not for me. <laughs> yeah, that, um, not that I wouldn't enjoy it. Doesn't because fire they, also kill trees? I feel like fire and well, trees aren't apparently, <laughs> Apparently, if you're armed with a hose, you can just take the torch to where they've laid their eggs. And go to town. Now, listen, in the same way that I know I'm someone who shouldn't try to fry a turkey outside, I'm also not going to try and torch the eggs off no my tree. No, my limits, Alyssa. Okay. I know myself. So I am asking, I have heard about things with duct tape and Vaseline that you can do with your trees. But our listeners come from the best places, uh, both uh, geographically and in their hearts. So please, if you know of ways to control the species, please, please. DM me, tweet at me, thread me. I don't know if that's what we say. <laughs> Does anything uh, Send it eat to them? our email. Does anything Not eat that, them? Uh, white, white-footed mice. White-footed mice, apparently. Okay. Can do I feel some like damage. that just ups the ante on things you don't want around your home, it's, though. It's I don't know. really exactly, Juanita. Okay. So anyway, any and all suggestions are welcome. No bad ideas, unless they involve a blowtorch, uh, which is apparently <laughs> the Mastermonica way of dealing with pests. So please... <laughs> Please, listeners, help a sister out. Okay, okay. I mean, could we engineer a bird that's migratory that just kind of comes in, eats all the moths? Anything. Anything. You guys, I have bunnies in my front yard. I got wild turkeys. I have everything you could imagine. Oh. Nothing is attacking these things. Can we so. feed them something that makes them d smell awesome to like, like crows or this vultures? This is what we are asking the scientist Barbies out there. Okay. Please, please. <laughs> Aaron, I love how you brought it back to your favorite crows. Like, yes. You think they're the most of crows. You're like, they saw everything. They have You're like, funerals for each other, guys. They you are funerals. their leader. Crows so, have funerals for each other. Crows and elephants and people have funerals I knew elephants for each other. I'm people. sure some okay. like sea creatures, too. Um, maybe orcas. I don't know. Well. Maybe they're too busy attacking the ships. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we can let's 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 get those caterpillars out of Alyssa's. Thank you plants as hard as we can um okay i've got something that is a little bit less wholesome but nonetheless is uh both a sanity corner and i feel petty there is a apparently a rivalry between marjorie taylor green and lauren bobert or as, is it sponsored by the wwe i mean Ooh. i don't know because lauren bobert's dad is allegedly a well lauren bobert thinks her dad is a former professional wrestler who took a paternity test and it was negative, but then her Literally and her mom- Literally did not know that. Then her, yes, and then her and her mom online bullied the- It's crazy, guys. It's, what is this telenovela? What? It is crazy. Lauren Boebert grew up without a, without a dad and her mom told her that her dad was this professional wrestler that was like passing through town and the professional wrestler took a paternity test. It was negative. There's some <laughs> controversy. This is like also part of my sanity corner because it's a crazy story. 
Um, it was negative. There's controversy around whether or not the sample was tampered with. So, you know, I don't want to, I can't say for sure, whatever. I don't know, nor do I want to talk about this wrestler's spooge. Um, but <laughs> she and her mom, like, harassed, like, like online bullied this wrestler about being her, it's super weird. Anyway, the Aristocats. Uh, aristocrats aristocats aristocrats the aristocrats um okay marjorie taylor green and lauren bobert are in a rivalry uh it's it's a shame hashtag let them fight um they yelled at each other <laughs> on and off that they've yelled at each other on and off the house floor um marjorie taylor green once called lauren bobert a little bitch to her face yes uh, i remember which, this moment which tracks uh, this is very unserious. All of this is very unserious, which is why I'm talking about it and I feel petty. Um, I like it. I like it. I think it's great. I want them to fight. I want there to be fisticuffs on the House floor. Let's bring back, <laughs> let's bring back cane fights. You know, like remember in Congress how there, there was like a guy who hit another guy with his cane. Let's bring back dueling. I feel like we can open up dueling to the ladies if they're going to be challenging each other to fights. Like, let's bring it back. Let's let them Hamilton each other if they want to. Um, yeah, people who are members of the House of Representatives have said on the record that they believe, quote, a fist fight could break out at any moment between the two women, which is Mm-mm-mm. wild. I mean, I'll just be in the background, fight, fight, yeah. fight, <laughs> fight. Like, you know, I'm that kid, so. I mean, I think that, like, on one hand, it is sad that these are elected officials that are drawing a salary and health benefits out of the pool of tax money that people right. are contributing. Uh, but on the other hand, I feel like they've really, you know, l- low class going to low class, and they're mm-hmm. they're gonna they're they're two low class p- people who like attention and don't get along and i think that's just what's going to happen also one of the symptoms of lead poisoning is aggression (laughs) Um, all of this translates to they just don't know any better they don't they do know they do know any better they don't want to know any better exactly right they can't help it i mean they can't do better they can't i mean you know but i I gotta say i hope that lauren bobart does take care of herself she's about to be a grandma and she shouldn't, um, you know, grandma shouldn't be fighting. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't be doing fisticuffs. Like, learn to knit or something. Or, or, or do, do some, something. Do something. Make jam. Make jam. <laughs> learn, learn a grandma we talked skill. about. We talked about grandparents ignoring boundaries. What boundaries is she going to cross with this child? <laughs> oh, man. Would not want Lauren Bobert to be my grandma. Um, <laughs> can you imagine? It's just terrible. Just how embarrassing for everybody in that whole family. Um, okay, so that's my sanity corner slash I feel petty. I, I wish for fisticuffs. I want them to fight. I think they should, <laughs> they should do it. Okay, Juanita, you're our guest. Bring us home. Sanity corner or I feel petty. All right, I'm going full on sanity corner with a theme of unbridled black girl joy with the duo who is all over social media running through my timeline pretty much every day flying a boss like if you don't know who i'm talking about you've clearly not been on any platforms for the past 90 days but this duo has a hit song called you wish and they're running through grocery stores they're running through disneyland there i see Alyssa typing into google right now yes keeping it 100 you know i am i'm like what is this how am i not aware how fucking white am i you've jesus what them. am i missing you you've se- you've seen this. i bet you've seen them so their music is funky I've seen them. it's I've fun seen them. I've seen there them. you go i feel just better confirmed. i feel better <laughs> And their their lyrics are so infectious to the point that even my husband walks around the house singing the song, even though I'm pretty sure he doesn't know what Kanekalon is. Okay, <laughs> listeners, it's it's weave, it's synthetic hair. Okay, everybody. <laughs> but beyond their music being an entire summer vibe, these girls are trained musicians. Like they're trained in I think three or four different instruments. They're musical icons run from Missy Elliott to Outkast to Ella Fitzgerald to Sarah Vaughn. Like they are just a vibe and I can't wait to see what they do next. Please vibe out to their music. Run immediately to go listen to it like Alyssa did to confirm that you've seen them. (laughs) 
Well, that is a great upbeat note to end. A great upbeat, mostly upbeat episode on uh, yeah. Juanita. Thank you so much for joining us. You got to come back again. This is so much fun. Yes. It is a vibe. Truly a delight. A joy. Truly it is a, a delight. Vibe, a delight. A joy. Alyssa Master Monaco, thank you for being my ride or die this week Always. and every week. Listeners, thank you so much for listening, supporting us. I actually found out from a friend in Ohio that you guys were talking about us on your company Slack. And my friend was like, hey, that's my friend's show. It was like, kind of cool. (laughs) So yeah, talk about us on your company Slack. You know, go vote early if you're living in Ohio. And uh, stick around because there will be more hysteria for you next week.